Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. Here we are at the Pixel Core Studios, and we have Mark Spencer going to talk to us about fixed resolution. I didn't know it was broken. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what Alex said to me four years ago. So this is, this is a subject we have talked about before uh, on MacBreak Studio. Right. Uh, but I see a lot of questions coming up about it now. And I think it's uh, a combination of the fact that we did it a long time ago. Um, and I didn't realize that long. I looked back and it was literally 2008 when we talked about this. Well, a lot of people need to bring in graphics from an illustrator. I mean, because you're working at the best resolution and nothing's bitmapped. Everything's, you know, looks really crisp. Right. So. Exactly. And the context we're talking about fixed resolution is it comes up in motion in, in several different ways. And one is, just as you mentioned, we use working with uh, vector artwork. Right. So the question generally is like, hey, I have vector artwork and I'm trying to work with it in motion, uh, but it doesn't stay vector. I scale it up and it gets all blurry. It gets all blurry. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about that, but a few other instances that fixed resolution can trip you up, can be your friend or can, can kind of hurt you here. So here I am in motion, in motion five, and in the file browser, I have several different images here. Uh, I've got a, a JPEG version of this image. You see it's high-res JPEG. It's very high resolution. It's about 4K. Yep. And then uh, I have this Illustrator version, car.ai. That's an Illustrator file. And then I have this PDF. Uh, that was an Illustrator file saved as a PDF. So it's a vector image, but saved as a PDF. So just for clarification of the audience, you can actually bring in straight away uh, Adobe Illustrator files and port them into, Final Cut, uh, yes. into Motion? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can bring an Illustrator file directly into Motion and work with it. That's nice. Um, the thing that you cannot do, which some people are asking about, is bring in an EPS file, an encapsulated postscript file. Does anyone uh, work with those anymore? You still see them around. Yeah. I get clients who send them to me all the time. Uh, so what you have to do is is double click to open that, double click to open it, whatever. Launch it in, in, right. in Illustrator, and then uh, if there are fonts you don't have, maybe convert those to outlines so that they're not actual fonts, and then save it as an Illustrator file or a PDF. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter there. Uh, what you won't get is all the separate layers. You have to kind of it's turn a flattened piece of artwork. It's a flattened sense. piece of artwork, okay. yeah. But here, here's the key thing that I want to talk about. Um, if I bring in this, this uh, car image, there it is. It looks on a white background here. It's actually on transparency. So here it is in our project. And here's the kind of the thing that happens. If I'm, I'm going to grab a corner, I'm going to hold down shift and option and scale it way up. You're right, and soft. Yeah, it gets all soft as you scale it up. And you might say, well, wait a minute. I know this is vector artwork. Vector artwork is supposed to stay crisp at any resolution. So, and he, here's the fix for this. Uh, the fact is that motion is actually turned off the ability for the thing to scale by default for performance reasons, right. so that you get good performance. But if you want to um, disable what motion has done, what you need to do is go to the media tab here and select the underlying media. And this is where it's a little bit tricky because the layers tab is all the stuff in your project, but the media is the underlying media that those layers are pointing, pointing to. Pointing to, right, they're right. referencing. So you want to select it there, and then you're going to go to the inspector, and the inspector has its own media tab. Okay, so there's this media tab over here in the project pane, and then there's this media tab in the inspector. And here, uh, we have this fixed resolution checkbox that's checked on by default. Uh -huh. And that's kind of a lot that's of steps. For the performance thing you mentioned. Right. Before I play with that, just there's a shortcut for doing this. So I'm going to go back to layers here, and I'll go back to the file browser. A faster way to deal with this, if you select the car and hold the shift key down and hold the F key. Shift F. Yeah, think of it for fixed resolution, right. although it does more than that. Shift F will immediately bring forward the media tab here mm -hmm. in the project pane and also bring forward the media tab in the inspector. So save so, a couple of clicks. Exactly. Just shift mm -hmm. F will jump you there. So now if I uncheck that fixed resolution checkbox, Ooh, snappy. Yeah, we get this nice, beautiful um, artwork. vector artwork yeah. like we wanted to. So now if I go back to the layers uh, pane of the, the project pane here, uh, I can go ahead and move this around. I can scale it up larger. In fact, I'm going to hit F1, just go to the Properties Inspector, and I can scale this up you know, very, very large, and it, it will stay stays crisp. nice and crisp no matter, no matter what I do with it. So that's kind of the first situation that it comes up, is, is you need to turn off that. Right, and it's not exactly uh, intuitive. <laughs> no, it is not intuitive at all. Let me reset that. And you might think, well, I'll just you know, work with a large JPEG. 
So here I have this large, large JPEG. It's so large, and there's two cars in the image. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've got the convertible and the hardtop. <laughs> right. um, and this is big. When I bring it in, it's automatically scaled down. But if I go back F1 to the properties inspector, we can see it's only 18% yeah, of its original well, you size. You said it was a 4K yeah. image. So you could see, it's like, this is one way to get around with it, is to work with a very high resolution JPEG, yeah, which is a raster. that's going to affect performance too, because that's eating up RAM. It's big, yeah. If I go to the finder and look at that guy, um, it is 1.2 megs, yeah. which isn't big, but if you've got a project with a lot of dozens them. of these, yeah. right? And here's the Illustrator one, 184 kilobits. Yep, yep. Yep, so, so using a high-res version is not necessarily a way around that. So that's one way that fixed resolution comes up. Uh, I'm gonna delete that, because I'm gonna show you another situation that uh, it can get, kind of get you stuck a little bit. I have here a Photoshop file. Mm -hmm. And this is a multi-layered Photoshop file, which you can't tell just by looking at it. But when I drag it into the group, I'm leaving the mouse held down for a minute. It gives me some options here. I can import uh, all the layers merged and flattened, flattened down, right? Import all the layers, or I can choose a layer. And if there aren't that many layers, you'll actually see a list here of all the layers to choose from. But this one, if I choose that, uh, has so many layers in it that I actually have to get this little pop-up menu. Okay, if I wanted to choose just a specific layer. Right. I'm gonna cancel, I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do, drag it in, I'm gonna choose all layers. Okay, so this is a, a poster for an event that happened a few years ago, but it's such a good uh, example that I wanted to use it here. So it comes in with all the layers. It was something that's created in Photoshop that we now wanna animate right. in, in motion. So we want all the layers separate to animate them. So for example, I'm gonna take this target here, this little kind of magnified section, and let's say I want it to fly in the screen. I'm going to drag it off over here. See that? Well, what the heck's going on there? I'm oh, drawing it's chopping it. it. It's, it's chopping it off. off. Yeah, it's That's annoying. It it's very annoying. Yes. So if I wanted this to fly in somehow, I can't really do it. What's happening is I'm being restricted to the original size document. of the Photoshop document. And this is another instance of fixed resolution. I see. Okay. Because it's fixed at that resolution. Yes. <laughs> but the, the tricky thing here is this is not a thing about the underlying media. If you look at the group here, uh, this came in as a group. And see the box around that group? I see it. Yeah, that indicates that fixed this is resolution. fixed resolution. It really kind of indicates it's being rasterized, right. but the fixed resolution is, is rasterizing it. So now if we go to the inspector for the group, we see a fixed resolution checkbox ah. for the group this time, not the underlying media. And if I uncheck that, there. Look at that. Yeah, there nice. we get it. And so no need to go to the media tab here, but now I can take each of these elements and move them anywhere on the screen. So it's kind of another instance that fixed resolution can, can work against you because it's turned on by default. Yeah, I can understand why the engineers wanted that uh, turned off because when you're flying things around, you got you know all this resolution, 4K images being manipulated and scaled. I guess so. I think everything yeah. starts with like, let's optimize for performance, but you can always turn that stuff off. So um, the last thing I want to show you is a place that, uh, that turning fixed resolution on might actually help you. So if you have a big particle system, so I'm going to go to the library, I'm going to go to particle emitters, and to uh, sparkles. I like, the, I like the sparkles. And there's one called blurry sparks, heavy sparks, and let's just use heavy sparks. I'll apply that, and I've got these sparks here, OK? Yeah. I'm going to make a few changes to them to really uh, kind of increase how many we've got. So I'm going to go to the inspector and crank the birth rate way up. So I've got a lot more. And I'll create the speed way up. And you can see motion's already saying, ah, you're giving me a lot to work with here. The emission range would spread them all over the screen too. Right, but motion is a little unhappy because I've got so many here. So what I want you to see is this bounding box. Let me stop playback for a minute. There we go. And I'm going to zoom out on my, on my canvas. See, there's so much yeah, going it's on. There. It's, it's recalculating. It's let me just recalculate every back one of up those a little bit. Pixels is having to be yeah, yeah every one of those. By the and this is really a function of your graphics card and what graphics card you have working in your system. Uh, but why don't you just see this bounding box? So what I'm going to do is hold down Command Space Bar. And they have Spotlight here, so I'm not going to be able to do it that way. I'm going to choose Fit and go back to like 25%. See that bounding box? Mm -hmm. Now watch what happens when we play from the beginning. It's probably going to get chopped. Well, see that bounding box keeps growing. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay, so what's happening is, oh, I actually have two, two copies of the, um, I hit Command D there, I've got two copies of it. What's happening is those particles are moving off the visible part of the canvas, but motion's still keeping track of them. Right. And that's so you're taking it. Yeah, you're losing performance. You're losing performance. And you can tell because that box is just going to get bigger and bigger as those things move down. In fact, as you crank up the speed of those things, 
let's crank up the speed a little bit more, that box will get bigger and bigger. Right. So here's a situation where you actually might want to turn on fixed resolution. So in this case, if I um, select the group, select the group that these are contained in, and I turn on fixed resolution. So it's interesting how Apple defaults right there. to like particle emitters and whatnot with the fixed re re resolution turned off um, by default. Yeah, so that's turned off by default, but you can turn that on, and now these particles are going to be restricted j just within yeah, the visible area of the canvas, and now we've got much better playback performance. I see now we're that. Able to play it that's back. nice. Okay, so three very different situations, but all about fixed resolution. Yeah, and all about performance, too. And performance, yeah. Excellent. And get in motion, do what you want it to do. Excellent. So Mark has an excellent, like, major, like, series on motion at VerbalTraining.com that you should check out. We've got a lot now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So anyway, Mark, thanks for uh, coming into the studio and discussing fixed resolution, yeah. and we know um, what to do about it. So anyway, thanks for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio.